How's that feeling? Um, I need time having trouble with the focus and my glasses on top, but I'll try my best. Take your time. Uh, get everything adjusted. You might have to take your headset off to do it. Yeah, let me it's do that. really difficult to do. You got a mask on, you got glasses on, you got a headset, and you're trying to put foggles on. So get them comfortable because you're going to have them on for an hour. It's hard enough with a mask alone. Okay, that was good though. I thought that went okay. That was a really weird curveball though. He canceled our clearance to land because there was an emergency or a Maybe they were checking the runway for debris or something. Yeah, I, I noticed that. that. That was actually cool. Okay, yeah. I'm my plane. Okay, your plane. Uh, we got McGuire off to the left and Philly off to the right. So let's just stay at this altitude. We're not in anyone's airspace. We're below the Bravo right now. And there's actually a... Um, ew, something really big get, uh, getting ready to fly over your head this way. So do me a favor. Uh -huh. Until he clears us, because he's probably getting radar vectors, and he's not going to be expecting anything weird. But I just want you to know something really big is going to come over your head from the left to the right. Okay. Uh, actually, it's already over top of us, so it might be going this way now. He's going to be uh, he's going to be coming off this side, and it looks like he's also going to Philly and descending right now. He's only 1,600 feet over your head. Wow. So let me just see where he is. Hey, I'm going to do a real quick 360, and you'll get a pretty good view of this. Sorry, you, uh, you're under the hood right now, right? <laughs> yeah, I yanked so I can. Okay, just sit tight for a second. I can't tell if it's Traffic in the air. Traffic clock, one out of mile, 200 feet double false. Is that the uh, JIA 54? JIA 5160. Okay, so where is he? It's behind us right now. It's going to the left. There he is. Uh, so that wasn't an airliner. That was just a really high-speed uh, single engine or maybe a jet. Okay, I'm going to give you the plane back. Okay. He's right off our nose right now, so that makes sense. He was just right over top of you. There he is, right off our nose. So that was him. So we're, um, we're almost 3,000 feet. You want me to go down? Uh, we can actually hang here because the airspace we're uh, below or that overlies us is just watch this guy coming up here. Jesus. We have an airliner right off our nose right now. So we're, ju we're just going to turn so that he's not um, a factor. And I'm going to give you the plane back now. Okay. We can maintain That's this out. We'll maintain this altitude, and uh, why don't we just head down toward the general direction of Cape May and see what it looks like. Okay. So you have the plane, we're at 3,000 feet, so let's maintain 3,000. Okay. Um, I'm gonna switch over to Atlantic City, that's 126.4, I believe. Let me just double check that. Could Cape May is KKY, right? Uh, Cape May is K whiskey wi Kilo Whiskey Whiskey Delta. Okay. Let me put it in here. So if you're going to do that, you got to tell me, and I'll fly the plane for a minute. And right. If you give me vectors, I don't need to do that. No, no. If you want to set it up, I want to. I don't want to be playing with my iPad if you're playing with yours. So. I understand that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let you set your iPad up and fly the plane okay, at your, the same time. My plane? Okay. Plane. My plane. Sure. Yeah, I just don't want two of us with our heads down make, at make, once. Makes sense. I'm going to turn this a little to the left um, just to stay out of Philly because we're getting a little close to their Bravo that airspace comes down one level. Oh, it's so nice out here tonight. So you had full fuel when we left, right? You visually checked that? Yes. Cool. All right, definitely did. Okay, we're right over top of the Flying W right now or just uh, a beam. Got the beacon in sight and the lights are off. Castle Alert, three nautical miles. There she blows. Okay. And I'm going to leave.
leave the landing light on? Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's perfectly fine with me. And I'm just going to bring the power back to 23 and mixture full rich and just a little bit of nose up trim to hold this. All right. I can, let me use footing here, and I'll take the plane back. What the heck? You all right? It's down. Uh, okay. So it's okay now. So Okay, my plane. Your plane. My plane. Okay, so you're heading in the uh, direction direction of uh, Cape May. I'm just going to yeah. set up. So I have my head down right now, so if you could do me a favor and fly the plane. Sure. I will be with you in one minute. Okay, so we're on the way to Wildwood. And, uh, yeah, click. yeah, I don't know what that, um, I don't know what that freak is, but let me, uh, this is going to be loud, so I'm going to turn it down. I feel like the squelch is off. Yeah. I don't know if the squelch even works in this radio. That's probably why. Okay, Atlantic City. Frequencies one, two, four point six is uh that's not what we got. One, two, four point six. No wonder nobody's talking. Okay, Atlantic City's in COM 1, 126.4, rather, and uh, let's maintain 3,000. You're, out of, you're out of the Bravo, and if you stay on your magenta line, you will be, uh, how's, how's your foggle set up? Are you using the instruments? Yeah. So we're supposed to be using these, I know you're using your iPad for nav, but you need to be flying with the AI, the VSI, yeah. and so start to develop a scan, because the one thing that's going to happen next is I'm going to cover something up. Okay. Then you're going to be really screwed. So what's your heading going to be right now to get to Wildwood? Two one. Uh, uh, two one. We're at uh, two two five right now, so that looks pretty close. Let's we'll set that right there. So. Let's just try, pick a heading and let's fly a heading. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get to 2-1. Okay. I wish I could dim, dim these panel lights a little bit, but I don't think that's possible. This rheostat right. does not seem so, to want to work. One, so I'm leveling the plane to what I think is leveling. And you are right, you know, the, it is impossible if we, if we didn't have the... The attitude. Um, oh yeah, we, we. So imagine. I mean, you can fly, but now you're flying out over no, the pine barrens at night. Because look, looking here, right? So my torque coordinator is telling me something, and I, I need to know if I. <laughs> so I don't know if we talked about this on the phone or by text the other night, but this is not one of the required VFR know, instruments. Yeah, we we spoke about it. Yeah, so I, I, it I, seems really insane to me that you would get in a plane at night over a dark area with right. water on both sides and possible fog or haze and not have an attitude indicator that's uh, working perfectly. I, I, I agree with you. So let's, um, let's see what happens if we turn the panel lights all the way off and eliminate the map light. And if I were to cover up your... Actually, um, let's, uh, I'm going to put your map light on for a minute. So one of the things I want to do with you guys, and it's not part of your private pilot, but we talked about doing some night work. Yep. Um, you know, to get really good at this, you can do a blackout landing, which is, you know, you basically have no lights, no electric, so you have no landing light. And you could also, you know, 
conceivably have no uh, no radios, and we would have to make a landing at the Flying W like that, which would be very tricky, at least the first time. This is the uniform air contact, about a mile and a half north of Millville Airport. I'll show you at uh, 1.9. So I don't know if I have any instrument covers. I can't find one. 100, that's a vector for the ILF. I know I got one in here somewhere, but by the time I find it, we'll be upside down. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we'll just, uh, we'll skip that for now, okay? So what, what, what is that you are trying to cover? Some there? instrument rights, uh, some instrument cover, so it's going to cover this up, just so you could get some feel for what it's like to fly. Uh, okay. So you can see what Frank was saying. If you get this plane dimmed down a little bit, right. um, turn off all the lights, you can fly with no panel lights. It's yeah. actually pretty pleasant. Yeah, but you, you should be able to fly with it, with the lights on, uh, looking outside. I cannot fly with, without looking outside and, and without looking. Oh, so you don't have yeah. So you don't have any ability to look outside. So I'm gonna get. I just wanted you to see what it looked like with that because it's it is a very distinct possibility. Can I remove the fog lights or? No, no. I'm just okay. gonna give you your lights back. So you good? Oh yeah, I'm good. Yes. Sir. Yeah. I just wanted you to see what it looked like. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll do some partial panel work yeah. where... So there is, there is, uh, you have an article I read about that. You have, have what? An ar there is an article of a magazine that I read. This, this, co this guy did like a focus, but it, he did it backwards. Like, a, you cannot, I cannot see the instrument. Oh, interesting. But, uh, but I, but I can see outside. So he, he asked the students to fly by, I, I'm going to copy the article for you. He asked the students to fly by, um, by uh, TFR. Horizon. Yeah, by the horizon. Don't, don't Got it. Yeah, no, that's interesting. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different training.